We are going over an NREMT practice question. Here we go. Hey everyone, Evan here, the paramedic coach. Make sure to smash and annihilate that like button down below. Hit subscribe and let's unveil the question. Here we go. Where is epinephrine released from? Is it A, the medulla oblongata? Is it B, the pituitary gland? Is it C, the adrenal gland? Or D, the pineal gland? Okay, I'm gonna give you five seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop your comments down below right now. Put what you think is the answer right now in the comments down below. And here it is. We have to know epi. So I'm gonna break down epinephrine for you full length right after this. But first we gotta say which one's right. So epinephrine. Now here's the half to never forget this. Adrenal gland, adrenal, adrenaline. Oh. Now whether you got the question right or wrong, I want you to walk away from this video understanding epinephrine, everything about it. It's one of our main drugs in EMS. You need to be an expert on it at every level. Now, here we go. Epinephrine, this is a, a standard drug profile of epinephrine that I'm gonna walk you through in a moment. Now, here is what epinephrine is. Epinephrine is actually naturally occurring in our body. We have the sympathetic nervous system. Okay, that sounds familiar to you. That's your fight or flight system. So if you're being chased, let's say, by a hungry lion, you're gonna have that system activated of fight or flight. You're gonna flight, <laughs> okay, okay? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have your lungs open up, your pupils are gonna dilate, as you can see better, your heart rate's gonna go up, right? And your body's gonna be focusing on that flight, right? So epinephrine is released in order to do that. It's a hormone in our body released by the adrenals, the adrenal gland, okay? Now, epinephrine, when we give it in medicine, it is called a sympathomimetic because when we give epinephrine to our patients, the effect that we are looking for is for that sympathetic nervous system to turn on. For that epinephrine, it's mimicking a sympathetic response. That's why we're giving the epinephrine, okay? Now, this sympathomimetic that we, when we give epi to our patients, what does epi do? There's three, how many? Three main receptors that epinephrine acts on. The first is alpha-1. So what alpha-1 is, it causes mass vasoconstriction. It's gonna bring up your blood pressure, okay? the beta-1 receptor that it also acts on. What that does is gonna increase the heart rate and the contractility of the heart. So the heart becomes more robust, it does its job better, that's contractility. Beta-2, when it acts on the beta-2 receptor, what epinephrine does is it opens up your lung tree, your bronchioles, opens up the bronchi so we can breathe better, okay? now. What I always tell my students is this, if you understand the mechanism of action, I could literally, and I'll do it right now, I could blur all this out, all of it out. If you just understand this, the mechanism of action, then you know what the indication is, what the contraindication is, what the adverse effect is. All you need to know is, what's the dose? Here's how I know that. If I'm telling you this medication will increase your blood pressure, if I'm telling you this medication is going to increase your heart rate, if I'm telling you this medication is going to open your lungs. If you were having an asthma attack where your lungs are tight, if you were having severe COPD, your lungs get tight, if you were having a severe, severe life-threatening allergic reaction called anaphylaxis and your lungs were tight, wouldn't it make sense to give a drug in the emergent setting to open your lungs up? Epinephrine does that. That's one of the indications. How'd you know that? Because you knew this. Okay. What else? Well, the American Heart Association has epinephrine given during someone who's in cardiac arrest to bring them 
back to life. Okay, we know it's a potent vasoconstrictor. We know it could increase the heart rate. They think, why not? Let's try it out. Okay, so it's also in cardiac arrest. Now, I have for simplification here, I have the cardiac arrest epinephrine, which is one to 10,000 epinephrine. On the other side, I have one to 1,000 epinephrine. Okay, so simplify. Epinephrine, because you know the mechanism of action, I said it can raise the blood pressure. I said it can raise the heart rate. Can epinephrine be given for slow, slow heart rates that are life-threatening? Yes. Can epinephrine be given in a drip to raise your blood pressure in certain states? Yes. Why would we not give epinephrine? Well, if epinephrine is going to increase my heart rate, if it's going to increase my blood pressure, I probably shouldn't give it if someone's having a tachycardic crisis or a hypertensive crisis. It's just going to make that crisis worse, right? And if you're allergic to it, which it's not impossible, but kind of not the most common allergy, but it has to go on there, okay? Or, you know, an allergy also means you have a bad effect when you give the drug. That Maybe you've tried it in the past and it didn't work so well. So keep that in mind. Adverse effects, tremors, anxiety, restlessness, and of course, tachycardia. If your heart rate, let's just say I was giving you epinephrine and your heart rate was, let's say, what, 110 when I first met you, it will go up to 120, 130, it will go up. Your heart rate will increase with this drug because you know what it does, okay? The dose. Now, there's many doses of epinephrine, but here are the two main ones. When I give a shot in the arm, which is 1 to 1,000 epinephrine, when I give a shot in the arm or the leg, okay, both arm or leg, when I give a shot of epinephrine intramuscularly into the muscle, it's 0.3 milligrams is the adult dose, okay? When I give epinephrine for cardiac arrest, which is on this side, notice I've kept it on the same side, when at 10,000, it's one milligram every three to five minutes, okay? There it is, right? Now, on this side, if you're an EMT watching, 0.3 milligrams is your EpiPen for adults, 0.15 is your EpiPen Junior uh, for pediatrics. I'll just tell you here, the most standard dose for anything with epinephrine pediatrics is 0.01 milligrams per kilogram, okay? A standard epinephrine dose on both sides would be that. You do the math on it, get a number, okay? Now, special consideration, here it is. We got to be doing EKG monitoring in these patients. We want to make sure that we do a 12 lead if possible, just to make sure there's nothing going on with the heart because we're giving a drug that's going to vasoconstrict and it's going to increase their heart rate. Okay. And we want to caution in the elderly, not saying don't give it if they're elderly, saying this, we give epinephrine when there's a life threat going on. So if there's not a life threat going on, and they can be managed, we may not give epinephrine. It's a life, it's, a, it's an emergency drug. So we want to caution an elderly. We want to give it to elderly if they need it, if it's a life threat, but we might want to withhold it and try some other measures if possible in elderly patients. It's a special consideration, not we can't. It's something that we use our brain in the moment with our patient and think about. So I hope you enjoyed this epinephrine lesson, my friends. If you want more content just like this, click the first link in the description and get access to my video vault training, my video vault course, 420 videos of educational content to help you out with school and national registry. And especially if you're getting ready for school right now, pick that up. I give you a lifetime access to all of my students and my friends. I will see you in the next video. Take care.